The entire country is watching the results of this one tonight. Democrats need to flip six seats in the Senate in order to take the majority. And by all accounts, this race is a must win to make that happen here in Philadelphia at the Sheridan Hotel. Preps are going on for what they hope will be a celebration tonight for Katie McGinty, the former Clinton staffer, a PA secretary of environmental protection and most recently Governor Wolf's chief of staff trying to beat the one term incumbent Pat Toomey. Now McGinty ahead in nearly all polls in the final weeks leading up to this election, but all very, very close. This race still considered a toss up by most experts. It took record spending to get to this point in the election. Upwards of $140 million spent by both campaigns in this race that shatters all previous records for a U.S. Senate campaign. They hope it'll pay off in a big way tonight. Attorney, excuse me, Attorney General nominee uh, Josh Shapiro will be here tonight, as well as the treasurer candidate Joe Torcella, as this will be the, the hub and headquarters for all things Democrats in Pennsylvania tonight. In Philadelphia, Mike Straub, News 8. And now to News 8, Susan Shapiro, who's with the Toomey campaign near Allentown. Good evening. They've been doing sound checks here and the balloons are ready to go at the Holiday Inn near Allentown. But it could be a while before U.S. Senator Pat Toomey arrives here. He's expected to cast his ballot at 645 in nearby Zionsville. Up until now, Toomey has refused to say whether he will be voting for Donald Trump. Toomey has been crisscrossing the state in the past few days leading up to the election, including this stop yesterday in New Cumberland. He's in a tough fight to keep his job in the U.S. Senate against Democratic challenger Katie McGinty. They have clashed on security issues, tax policy, and Obamacare. The Center for Responsive Politics calls this the most expensive Senate race in history. In Lehigh County, Susan Shapiro, News 8.